Welcome back to Savannah. We just finished uh, the IFBB Pro League uh, professional divisions. We had two women professional divisions, women bodybuilding and figure, and it was an amazing night here in Savannah. Absolutely, it was fantastic. What do you want to start with, Linda? Well, Should we do female bodybuilding yes, first? Yes, yes, let's start with female bodybuilding first. Okay. But what I want to say about every single athlete, like, I must say, the best posing routines consistently. The ladies, you're stepping up your game. I was very entertained oh, yes. with every single posing routine. I could tell oh, yeah. they made up, they had a routine. They weren't just like up there dancing. So we guys, had the it was best, great. best uh, poser award as yes, well. Yes, and that was poser. won by uh, Rochelle Cannon. Yes, Rochelle Cannon. Yeah. and I told you she could pose. Oh yeah, she did I have did a beautiful it, right? routine, and it was very well choreographed. I very liked well it. choreographed. Had themes in it and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Janine Lankowski had the was a uh, she's always a great poser, and she had a great routine as well, mm -hmm. as well as Kim Buck. Yep. I liked what I she did. I was impressed with yep. Kim Buck's routine. I want to say this is, Kim, it, it, you know, you have good routines, yeah. but this time I can say you had me from the first pose to the very end. Tina Williams had a fun one too, like very interactive, encouraging the public to clap, yes. right? I like yes. that as well. And the public liked it. I think, uh, I think we're seeing a revival of the posing art, Linda. Yes, I know. I really, <laughs> I really, I was so proud today. And also, you guys have to understand, like now we're going on to the NPC divisions, but so the majority of the audience, this is their first time seeing women bodybuilders or, or really seeing professional figure uh, competitors on stage and now they're waiting to see their, their kids. And so I felt awfully proud that all the women bodybuilders, they were in great shape. They even looked better than they did in the morning. Yes. I thought, didn't you think that? Like, wow. Yes, they the were difference. They were tighter. They were tighter. So how about we start the places backwards? So yes. on fifth place, we had Andrea Sauer, mm -hmm. who I think we predicted, we thought that she'd be get fixed fifth in the morning as well, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes, we did. Then, uh, and Asha, uh, uh, Andrea Sauer, actually, it was her pro debut. Wow. Yeah. yeah. She turned pro, I think, last year or two years ago. And it was her pro debut, so I think it's a great debut, a debut on a field of 13 really powerful, is. strong women to get fifth place, yes. right? So great, de great debut for 13 yes. ladies. Absolutely, yes. Then we had fourth place, Angela Rayburn. Yes. And Angela was definitely, like I said earlier today, she was in, in great shape. You know, the, some of the best shape that I could say. Yeah. A uh, very clean routine, uh, posing, just... She was crisp, and I, I can definitely say Angela Rayburn, she's back. She is. She definitely is. And then third place was Rishana Boswell, mm -hmm. who's, uh, she came much tighter than we saw her in Omaha, mm -hmm. where she got, uh, what place did she get in Omaha? Um, in Omaha, she got second, she second place. Second yeah, place she got second Omaha. place. Yeah, she was in a much better conditioning, better shape. Yes. And she, I think she's going to do New York as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's expressed, she expressed her interest to do Chicago Pro later in the year because she's from Chicago, but now with a Chicago movie in Atlanta, she's like, maybe I should just ride a wave, and I'm like, it's only one week mm -hmm. apart, you should totally That's do right. it. That's right, find a way to do yeah. it and get it done. This is a special year, yep. and I really feel like, I really do strongly feel that Roshana belongs on the Olympia stage. I want to yep. see her on the Olympia stage. I think she has a great physique. I've seen her in tip-top shape, and yeah. she's just not reached her the, the her maximum conditioning. Exactly. That, the what, what we've seen her in. Yeah. Got second place was Kim Buck. Yes. And Kim was in one of the best shapes I've ever seen her. Yes. Really nice and dry. Yes. Great, uh, great details on legs. You know, like yep. I really like that. Great details everywhere, nice mm -hmm. and full, full muscles. Mm -hmm. She she came in in yep. a great shape. She yeah. did. And I think she's another one who's going to do New York. She said she's doing New York mm -hmm. as Good well. Good for her. Good I know. for her. It's I know. Be fantastic. I know. They're, they're, yeah, we got a great year here. They want to get to that 
to the yeah. Olympia stage in December, and so I don't blame them. And then the winner, who looked absolutely phenomenal, is just the quality of her muscle, the 3D, the, the hardness, her shoulders. Mm -hmm. Her shoulders were literally separating from her arm, like the oh, details, yeah. they were fantastic. Asha Hadley, yes. the girl with the big traps. Yes. <laughs> I actually went and I told her. You did? You have huge traps. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I know. What she did? Did she do? What she does? A lot of upright rows. No, I don't no, think don't so. Know. I think no, it's just, just a genetic just genetics, thing. But yeah. yeah, she was in an amazing condition, amazing. and I think she's gonna be uh, one of the top competitors at the Olympia. Mm -hmm. Basically, she's yes. got. Uh, she comes in this kind of shape. She's um, she's very good. Uh, Olympia material mm -hmm. and yeah. then I was a little bit disappointed to see uh, Christina Mendoza not cracking the top mm -hmm. five yes uh, she does need I mean her shape is beautiful she's just a beautiful woman her shape is amazing and then it's just mm -hmm. so pretty the lines and everything she just yes, needs to absolutely. come in harder just needs especially to come in harder on the on the legs but especially when she turns from the rear to turn to the that's rear. her softest that's bond so she needs see. to definitely improve that mm -hmm. right in order yeah. to yeah, to absolutely. have better placings. Yeah, because she's beautiful structure, beautiful face, beautiful her routine, her just her whole her package. She yeah. just definitely needs to. Uh, and she's gonna. And with be, time, she will. She's gonna be another one who's doing New York Pro in Tampa mm -hmm. next weekend. So you guys stay close, and you're gonna see how these girls place again. And then we have. Well, we're going on to now to moving on to figure figure thirty seven. IFBB Pro showed up here in Savannah and we must say they were all in great shape. There are a few that not in top shape, but really, yeah, they were in an amazing shape and um, maybe we should start from the fifth again. Yeah, let's start Sylvia there. Sylvia Henry in fifth place, which we um, thought she's going to be there, but just by the way she was placed in the morning and mm -hmm. then the way she looked, we thought she's going to be fifth and she got fifth. Mm -hmm. um, we had uh, Anna Banks, she's originally from Poland. She was 16th in 2019 at the Olympia, so she ended the, this time around fourth. We thought she might get anywhere between fourth to mm -hmm. sixth place in the morning. She ended up uh, fourth place. Um, Again, getting all those points and heading into Olympia again. Um, third place was Maria Luisa Diaz. Yes. Who we thought she would be second or third in the morning. She's got uh, third place right now. Mm -hmm. um, Maria is the one who did, uh, who competed at the Olympia before. So she's a uh, seasoned Olympian competitor. She's got 16th mm -hmm. in 2018. Mm -hmm. She was sixth in 2017. Um, and uh, again, she's got third this time, gets the points, and I think she won't stop until, until she's getting... Until she gets, yeah. gets to the Olympia, yeah. gets, gets the points to get there. And then I'll let you talk about the change, because we didn't yeah. anticipate this in the yes, morning. Yes, we didn't anticipate this morning. Um, so Felicia, is it Lively? Uh, it's Livizi. Livizi. Yeah. Yes, uh, she, we were, we believed or thought that she would take home the first place in the Olympia qualification, yeah. but the judges decided differently and she placed second. And after Nicole Zenobia. Yes, Nicole Zenobia, you know, I mean, for me, she's just, you can't take your your eyes off of her her they all yeah. both of them the two of them and have honestly, different nicole, styles nicole came in tighter harder this she evening. was tighter she was tighter mm -hmm. yeah so i can see you because can see why it was clear Felicia, she was the winner she was on a, she's on a smaller side she's very cute right. very petite beautiful lines beautiful structure but she's on a smaller side yes of a uh, figure yes and you know what and that's what i'm starting to, to notice i think uh you know when you see the change within a division and you look at figure and you look at the current champion and I'm sure that uh, Sid, Sid Gillen was here in the audience watching and her physique is, we've, we've noticed that we've had a couple of athletes that have similar, you know, the, the hamstrings and the tie-ins and the, yeah. the quads, um, kind of like, a, I guess, a, like a track athlete or sprinter they have yes. those really strong so the two physiques like you said between second and first 
huge um, difference. It's a yeah. huge difference, and it, you just don't know in what directions the judges will go. And then they decided yeah. to go. Yeah, it looked like uh, Felicia's gonna get it in the morning, and mm -hmm. um, um, Nicole, by the, way, the judges yeah. placed her. In, Nicole, in the lineup. Were, uh, Nicole, and Maria were fighting for second and third, but then Nicole came so much better mm -hmm. in the evening that she actually got the first place, yeah. and yeah. that was it. Yeah. So I think this is it for tonight. Anybody yes. you rem you would like to mention? Oh, we actually we liked Deborah Rosado, and we oh, were, she, yes. I think she's got a very exotic and pretty look with like Italian face, dark yes. hair. Yes. We were disappointed that we're she very was not a little bit more ahead. In very this. disappointed. And I got an opportunity to talk to her yeah. after. You know, um, I think it's really challenging for the judges to judge. 37 women and maybe they'll come up with some system because it seems like after 10th place like the, pe the yeah. others get lost and so I don't feel like it's a true reflection of where they really place but Deborah um, I, I just gosh when you see that I just think don't give up just know yeah. that you're amazing and sometimes it just things happen I you know can explain. I know, it. yeah. Sometimes you might just be off by, let's say, one hour or a couple of hours, and when the lineup is so tough, then you yeah. know, like, you just don't get it. But yeah. it, it's about like still going for that that moment of perfection that you can achieve and never stopping and don't give up, right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all. That's yeah. all you can do. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining us here in Savannah. Uh, this was our wrap up of the female classes and we will see you next weekend uh, yep. in Tampa for the New York Pro where see, we're going to do the same right. for the female classes. That's right. Looking forward to the athletes at the New York Me Pro. Me as well. <laughs> Bye. Bye guys.